mga kasilip, for today's video, I will show you how to locate tide points using Google Earth. So for example, I have here a lot data competition and we will plot this tide point using Google Earth. You can also encode these coordinates in Notepad. So you can copy and paste this in Google Earth. Take note that in locating type points, use only the grid coordinates of type point where the lot is tied up. Now, open the Google Earth application. Click this icon. Edit the name of placemark. For example, we will plot the coordinates of BLLM1 of Bacon. Set the zone based on your location and then input the grid coordinates of BLLM1 of Bacon, then click OK. Alright, it will automatically generate or create place mark by inputting the grid coordinates of the type point. Remember that there is always a discrepancy or a shift in the actual and correct position of points. Okay, let's try another one. We will try to locate this BLLM12 by adding place mark in Google Earth by inputting its grid coordinates. This BLLM12 is still existing in the ground since we use this as reference during our survey. So I will prove to you that there is a shift in the position of this type point when you locate this benchmark using Google Earth versus its actual position in the ground. I will also add place mark for the coordinates of BLLM11 of Bacon. This reference benchmark still exists on the ground and just about 120 meters away from the BLLM12 as based on the actual location on the ground. As you can see, the two BLLMs are projected and fall in the seashore, but the true and actual location of these benchmarks 
should be here near the existing road reflected on the map. Alright, that's all for today's video. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more videos and learnings to come. See you on my next vlog. Bye-bye!